Hello and welcome to German lessons with Mr. Ferguson. Hallo und herzlich willkommen zum Deutschunterricht mit Herrn Ferguson. Diese siebte Stunde über die Zeitformen, the seventh tenses lesson, ist wie man den Konditional mit werden benutzt. How to use the conditional tense with werden. Teil 1, part 1. This lesson is designed to assist with the understanding of the more complex aspects of German grammar and is suitable for students studying for GCSE or A-level in the UK, or students of an equivalent level. In terms of CEFR language learning levels, this is approximately A2 to B1 level. To understand this lesson, it's important that you understand what the conditional tense is. The conditional tense is called this because it relies on a condition being met. For example, if I won the lottery, I would buy a Porsche. This is reliant on the condition of winning the lottery. Without that money, I can't buy the Porsche. In German, to form the conditional tense, we use something called the subjunctive, which is called konjunktiv in German. There are a lot of complex aspects to the subjunctive in German, but I'll try to give you a simple explanation of what you need to know. Each verb in German has an indicative, i.e. a normal, and a subjunctive form. The verb we're interested in here is werden, to become. In the future tense video I made, you learned that we can use werden with an infinitive to mean will. If you haven't seen this video yet, please click the banner in the video now. For example, using the indicative, the normal form of the verb, ich werde ein Auto kaufen, I will buy a car. Now, it so happens that if we use the subjunctive form of werden in this sentence, we change the meaning from I will buy a car to I would buy a car. And to do this, we use the verb form würde. As an introduction to the conditional tense, you can think of the verb würden as meaning would, and it would conjugate like this. Ich würde, I would, du würdest, you in formal singular would, er, sie, es, man, würde, he, she, it, one, would, wir würden, we would, ihr würdet, you, informal plural, would, and sie and sie würden, you, formal, or they, would. This verb is actually the subjunctive form of werden, and so we can use it in the same way. If we finish the sentences and put an infinitive on the end, we get would sentences. So let's look at some examples. Ich würde einen Brief schreiben. I would write a letter. Würdest du Musik hören? Would you, in formal singular, listen to music? Mein Bruder würde das nicht wissen. My brother would not know that. Meine Freunde und ich würden tanzen. My friends and I would dance. Würdet ihr einen Kaffee trinken? Would you, in formal plural, drink a coffee? Sie würden es nicht glauben. You, formal, would not believe it. Was würden sie denken? What would they think? So, that's how to use the subjunctive with werden to create a conditional sentence. It's a good idea to pause the video now to recap the subjunctive or conditional forms of the verb werden and how to use this to make would sentences. Habe ich etwas vergessen? If you're a native German speaker and think I've forgotten something important about the subjunctive with werden, resulting in the conditional tense, please let me know in the comments. Bitte schreibt einen Kommentar. Also, please don't forget to click subscribe to receive all of my German lesson videos, language learning tips and updates. To move on to the second part of this lesson about the subjunctive with the verbs haben and sein, please click the thumbnail in the video. Otherwise, from me, it's Danke und auf Wiedersehen.